What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good you two? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today, repping the neck pillow. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, listen guys, today we are going over some market talk. And bro, like I'm just gonna, I'm pretty much just gonna give you market talk tips, snipe tips, and all that good stuff in this video. Um, as we should manage up 20,000 MT in the comments, bro. Okay, listen, I haven't done a giveaway in about a week. I'm probably gonna do my giveaway Sunday. I'm working, I like I say, six days this week, so try to do it Sunday, okay? Listen, I'm gonna give away some MT. I have a lot of MT to give away. Don't worry, you're gonna get your MT. I'm sorry. It's on Xbox. Eventually, I am making a lot of money this week, so eventually I will give away some $10 PSN codes because I do not have MT on PSN. But Xbox dudes, you will get some MT. Anyways, guys, let's get this video to 100 likes, and we'll give away a ton of 20,000 MT to probably 5 of them, probably 100K MT giveaway. So please like the video, I beg. All right, also drop that sub, but okay. Without further ado, man. Let's talk about some sniping. I honestly am going to tell you one way to snipe if you're a big baller. If you have minimum 200,000, even 150 is fine. So, uh, yesterday I was on the game and I made so much MT off those dudes yesterday because for some reason, I don't know if it was a glitch or something. It happened a couple times. Sometimes cards on bids get stuck at 100k and I've noticed it, it happened to me yesterday. And a couple days ago. So now I don't know if it's a glitch or if no one's actually bidding on the card. But I'm going to show you some examples. So yesterday or two days ago, I was actually playing 2K with my friend. He wanted me to play a game online. And what happened was I went in. I went on a center pink diamond. And I saw, no lie to you. Uh, if he was here, I, I could literally tell you. No lie to you. I saw a Chris Bosh. I saw a Hakeem. For a 100k bid, and I bid it on them for 110, got outbidded, and then I got Hakeem and Chris Bosch for 130k. Now, if you know, as you can see, Kareem is 200k, Bosch is 170k. I don't know if it was a glitch. Not only that, I swear to you guys, Kristaps, I had a Kristaps, I got a Kristaps, the one I have in my collection, for around 130 to 140k. I don't know how, but this is what I'm going to say. It was like 30 seconds left on it. And I got him. Now, it, it's very lucky. Honestly, I usually do get outbidded. I've been trying to get Bosch. There's been bidding wars with Bosch forever now. Once I got that Bosch, I was freaking out. I got two Boshes, actually. I went through around six Boshes already. So, I don't know if it's one card to target. But that is one thing I'm going to say. I don't know if it's a glitch. But sometimes, if you go on the Pink Diamond Filter, there will be cards not bidded on and you could snag them. I sometimes do get outbidded. It happens, but yo... Try it out. Let me know. I kind of like this Yao Ming for 99k. Not going to lie. I'm going to bid on that. Um, That is Yao Ming we are talking. Hold up one second. Is he a buyout? Did I just botch? Okay, he's not a buyout. It's pretty good for 99k. Um, So, yeah. Like I was saying, try that out. Also, man, um, some empty methods for you guys. Sell your cards. Wow, Gilbert just sold for 230. I sold mine for 190 yesterday. That's crazy. Okay. So, guys... As you can see, the market's pretty much at its peak. Now, if you guys want to sell today, if you want to sell tomorrow, that's fine with me. I have a bad feeling something's dropping this weekend. I have a very bad feeling. I think I just got outbidded. Do I get Yao Ming for 110? Oh, I just missed that. Do I get him? Ah, uh, nah. We'll, we'll get him for 100k soon. So, one. Alright, so let me. I, I lost track. Um, oh my god, what was I going to say? Okay, so, I actually was sniping a little bit. I got a Kevin Love, I got Eddie Johnson's, okay, whatever. So, try bidding on some diamonds, any diamond. Try going, oh, oh, that was actually a pretty good one. Um, try bidding on diamonds. So, for instance, go shooting guard diamond. You kind of, oh, that was a good price too. You got over 220 as a snag. Go through bidding, you got to know pricing for this. Like, 68k LeBron's a pretty good price, okay? Go through each card. Try to work it out. Um, You gotta know pricing. 
just honestly go through bidding a lot of kids throw buyouts with cheap bids and honestly i've got a ton of bids that way you just gotta know your pricing so honestly i've been making so much mt off bids it is sometimes competitive but you could low-key you could somehow sometimes snag bids for cheap it, it happens it's usually with buyouts on cards um but yeah like see this ad for 110 i'm gonna raise him to 200 something hopefully i i'm gonna raise him to a hundred 200 hopefully i am the highest bidder but now i could get really lucky as you can see that one's over 300k i could get really lucky and somehow snag this for 200 when he's 300 like yesterday i got mellow for 140 and he's 220 today you could sometimes get really lucky also when you want to you want to do this a lot during market crashes because it works a lot like as you can see mellow sold for 220 in my video not too long ago last night so over 220 in my video he's now 180 now prices do vary you could get prices for cheap you could get them for low you could sell them for low it just really depends but now if i get this ad for 200 i'm gonna make a hundred thousand mt as long as someone bids on it so if you do have mt bro if you have a lot of mt like me you could run the market and get tons of pink diamond snipes with this method so try it out for guys who have 50k i'm just gonna tell you right now man the best filter in a game for kids who have 50k by far is diamond enabled um going through position setting your bit to your maximum buyout to around 18k this filter has been money for me this is why i have so much mt this filter bro is straight cash i like going through positions because now it is it is filled with cards so pretty much anything that pops up that's not a legacy card is a snipe i press enable because i have tony allen earl monroe jerry west and jamal wilkes in my collection i do not want to see them popping up on the auction so if you guys want to try out this method, it's been working for me forever. This method is so damn good. Colonel Echo over 16K is pretty solid. Um, try it out. Let me know how it goes. I like focusing on the big men for some reason. The diamond big men always work out. Um, point guards are a little slow. Try big men. I've been getting a lot of big men snipes. I got a ton of K Love snipes, a ton of Pascal Seacom snipes. So um, yeah, try it out. Let me know how it goes. But yeah, pink diamond bids, bro. They could. I probably got outbid it, right? Let's see. Let's see what he's at. I'm actually curious. Is he a center? It's Pink Don AD. Uh, okay, 180k. I'll, I'll raise him to 210. Oh wow, he's getting raised. All right, nice. Okay, so looks like that bid's gone. It's kind of hard to do it on newer cards, but see, if you can get this Zion for 138, that's a good price. He was selling for 160 this whole day. So pretty much, man. If you have a lot of MT, try sitting on the bids. You never know when you could somehow snag a card for 30 to 40k less. It happens. Sometimes it could be rare. Sometimes it couldn't. But also, I'm going to go with the market now. So right now, with snipes and everything, um, if you have Kobe, I'm going to check his price right now. A lot of people have been asking me, should I sell my Kobe? Should I do this with Kobe? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Let's see. There's a 120k bid on him. So, ooh. Does this have diamond contracts on it? Um, no, it doesn't. One contract. Okay. Um, you should sell your Kobe's. I mean, put them up for bid. Don't try to buy them out. That's one tip for you guys. But yeah, right now, man, I have so much MT. I really only have Kristaps and Bosch as my sellable cards. But try to sell your cards, guys. I beg. Go to the auction, sell your cards. Thank me later because my predictions, honestly, I think they're going to drop a when's all-star isn't all-star in two weeks or three weeks i don't know but getting into all-star content is usually when market starts crashing like crazy so you should really not have a team for the next week or two i'm just gonna say that try to get a nat team like i pretty much have an all that team besides my Przingis and bosch like i did this set so i can't sell moncrief and bernard king and all them so I have Richard Jefferson, Nat, Paul Millsap, Nat, can't sell Luca, can't sell Sean Kemp, can't sell Barry, can't sell uh, Reggie, can't sell Doug West, can't sell Giannis, so can't sell Trey Young, can't sell pretty much a lot of these cards, so try to get your tokens, if you have like, if you have a team that you could get, like grind out the solos bro, do the spotlights, try to grind those out, keep your Nat team and just have your MT stashed and just try to keep making MT with my tips and really that's all I got man, try it out. And also, real quick for you budget ballers, bro. Amethyst 2000 is pretty good. Just pretty much buy anything with uh, that's not Bryant Reeves. So, yeah, Amethyst 2000. Keep refreshing. Get anything besides Bryant Reeves. And, yeah, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoy. 
new method here. We're going to have top five snipe filters tomorrow. Probably gameplay tomorrow because I am off. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.